good morning students we have completed last class different integrals properties of different integrals now basing on those properties we have to start exercise 7.11 7.11 exercise is completely basing on properties how should should do basing on properties we are going to discuss now so listen carefully so we have discussed yesterday seven properties okay na you recall all those properties now once the properties as when you recall how to apply these properties while solving the problems so that property wise i'll tell you method wise i'll tell you it is easy for you otherwise okay now here you see problem number 1 in exercise 11.7.11 इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पै बै टू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पै बै टू का स्क्वेर एक्स डीएक्स दिस्ज दि प्रॉब्लम गिव इंटीग्रल जीरो टू पै बै टू का स्क्वेर एक्स डीएक्स दिस्ज दि प्रॉब्लम गिव वे नवर प्रॉब्लम इज गिव इन जनरली इफ यू डोट नो प्रॉपर्टी मीन फॉर हाउ विल डू का स्क्वेर एक्स कैन बी रिटन एस वन प्लस का टू एक्स बै टू and separate it integrate it and you put limits 0 to pi by 2 you will get the answer a little bit extra process now how we'll do this problem means using properties means i'll explain you first you say let i is equal to i means integral i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 ka square x dx this is the problem this given problem i considered as i i means integral now i am going to use here the property integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx this is the property correct or not 0 to a f of x dx can be written as 0 to a f of a minus x dx this property will use several number of times more number of times will use this property all of you so therefore when limits are there wherever x is there if you substitute a minus x is same is same according to this property which you already proved so basing that now this i i'll write here only is equal to is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 means 0 to a f of x means what cos square x you write cos square how much is said a minus x in place of a what is here pi by 2 so we write pi by 2 minus x dx my dear students 0 to a f of x dx can be written as 0 to a f of a minus x dx this property we already learned in case of in place of a we have pi by 2 so f of pi by 2 minus x f of x means cos square x so cos square of x means pi by 2 minus x i wrote here now same is equal to is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 what is cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta means sin square x dx so cos 90 minus theta sin theta sin square x dx now this is also i now if you consider these two now i plus i both are there you know i plus i 2i 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 means what i did now this equation this equation both are same both i only no i is not different i is same so this i plus this i added here 0 to pi by 2 is there here 0 to pi by 2 is there that's why i wrote 0 to pi by 2 cos square x is here sin square x is here you write sin square x plus cos square x after adding we have added both the integrals after using the property then it has come like this now 2i is equal to how much integral 0 to pi by 2 what is sin square x plus cos square x sin square x plus square x is 1 into 1 into dx what is integral dx x x means 0 to pi by 2 correct or not sin square x plus cos square x x 1 1 dx 1 into dx x integral dx x what are the limits 0 to pi by 2 so 2i is equal to how much you will get now 2i is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 So this implies i is equal to pi by 
so so many problems we are going to get this answer only when because when you add 2i and is either getting one one comes means it is nothing but pi by 4 okay so that's why after practicing in entrance is given means after seeing this problem only answer is pi by 4 you can say let it be 0 to pi by 2 cos square x dx let it be 0 to pi by 2 sin square x dx answer is the pi by 4 only okay so now this is the problem given this i consider as i then i use this property which property i used also i wrote here so 0 to pi by 2 cos of a means pi by 2 minus x dx cos 90 minus theta sin theta sin theta and power is there sin square x then i and plus i these two i's i added the same limit means you can add it so sin square x plus cos square x which is trigonometrically 1 integral dx is x 0 to pi by 2 upper limit minus lower limit pi by 2 minus 0 pi by 2 2 i is equal to pi by 2 i is equal to pi by 4 okay you understood okay now like that you take any number now problem number 2 also the same method so directly integral 0 to pi by 2 you see now root sin x root sin x by how much is given root sin x plus root cos x now if you here means first problem means what happened now if you don't know property also i said cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos 2x by 2 and you can add it but here all root are there denominator plus is there if you do rationalization also nothing going to be used so this property is here compulsory you have to use using property only okay now this is the problem given again let i is equal to first of all you should say i integral 0 to pi by 2 is given so what is here root sin x by here down root sin x plus root cos x root sin x plus root cos x dx yes now which property are going to use same 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx this is the property which we are going to use so i is here you write i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 root of what you will write sin x means sin a minus x a means pi by 2 sin pi by 2 minus x by root sin pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 minus x plus root of cos pi by 2 minus x dx root of cos pi by 2 minus x dx this is the important thing so integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 so root of sin 90 minus x cos x by root cos x plus root sin 90 minus the cos theta cos 90 minus the sin theta sin x dx now again this is also i this is also i here when you add this to 2i 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 see root cos x plus root sin x root cos x plus root sin x same lcm is same you write here root sin x plus root cos x lcm is same when lcm is same numerator can be added without any problem so what will be the numerator your root sin x is there your root cos x is there you write root sin x plus root cos x i told you right. root sin x plus root cos x dx means what these two here and this here both will cancel now when you get cancelled here how much you are going to get 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 <coughs> 2i is equal to one minute uh, two i is equal to integral zero to pi by two integral zero to pi by two how much dx one dx because cancel one dx means what i said x x means what zero to pi by two upper and lower limit so what happened now two i is equal to pi upper limit pi by two lower limit zero so this implies what is i pi by four i told you if this is the problem means you will get the same here's it first problem pi by 4 second problem pi by 4 so mechanical whenever problems you are seen like this 0 to pi by 2 is there mean answer is pi by 4 in entrance once you do this basic only you will remember like that 
isn't it okay now let us move to the problem number three so now i want to give you homework which is easy means you have to do it correct huh? so what are those problems i'll tell you basing on the same concept so where you are going to get answer is also pi by four same so that's why i need not to tell you in the board you can do it so that's why i'll write those problems here which i have to do means i'll do here okay so now <clears throat> that is problem number three homework problems hw homework integral problem number three integral 0 to pi by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sign to the power of 3 by 2 x by sign to the power of 3 by 2 x plus cos to the power of 3 by 2 x dx now here see here root means what 1 by 2 sine power 1 by 2 x here we did here sin power 3 by 2 x we did same i then we will become cos same denominator same will come so we will cancel 1 dx pi by 4 answer is also pi by 4 over you know so problem number 4 which is same means I will do it you can do it so 0 to pi by 2 this is also fourth problem also you can do it so what is given cos power 5x by so for practice purpose these many crossings are given sin power 5x plus cos power 5x dx now so this is also same will get cancelled if we add i plus i pi by 4 here pi by 4 here pi by 4 here pi by 4 1 2 3 4 all answers are pi by 4 only so now which problem is there in this method i will see that will that one i will give it otherwise i will do it so now it is 1 2 3 4 uh, next to next 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 yes uh, problem number 15 we will do first problem number 15 i will do it because little bit 15 problem because same method i am doing now problem number 15 means 0 to pi by 2 sin x minus cos x sin x minus cos x by 1 plus sin x cos x dx 1 plus sin x cos x dx this is the problem given problem number 15 now applying the same principle same principle means what let i is equal to again the same integral 0 to pi by 2 what you are going to write here sin x minus cos x sin x minus cos x by 1 plus sin x into cos x dx 1 plus sin x into cos x dx okay now here you see i and again which formula same 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx so whatever the property you are using better to not better you must write mandatory you should write the formula what property you are writing with then they will come to know okay using this property this fellow got this like this okay now so you can you should write it you cannot leave that okay anyhow now again the property is same 0 to a 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay now that is the reason i consider this also you can do it but i will do i said so now here i is equal to again integral 0 to pi by 2 okay a means pi by 2 sin x sin pi by 2 minus x a minus x formula is that sin pi by 2 minus x minus cos x means cos pi by 2 minus x means cos a minus x here a means pi by 2 by 1 plus sin pi to pi by 2 minus x into cos x means cos pi by 2 minus x so what i did now wherever x is there in that place a minus x according to the property here a means pi by 2 so pi by 2 minus x wherever x is there i substitute it now you simplify it that is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta by 1 plus sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta dx i wrote like that
now this is nothing but i this is also i only now you see this is i and this is i i plus i 2i now we are adding those two 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 now you see what is the lcm 1 plus sin x cos x denominator 1 plus sin x cos x denominator both are there so that's why you can add it you write a denominator 1 plus sin x into cos x so now you add the numerators no problem if you add the numerators means what is the numerator here sin x minus cos x right here sin x minus cos x plus what is the numerator here cos x minus sin x you write cos x minus sin x whole divided by dx don't forget so now what happened now you see 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 what happened now minus sin x plus sin x minus cos x plus cos x all got it means 0 into dx 0 into dx means what 0 this implies i is equal to 0 here you didn't get pi by 4 you got 0 why because sin x minus cos x is there cos x minus sin x we had total become 0 integral 0 into dx is 0 integral 0 is 0 total 0 so 2i is equal to 0 i is equal to 0 in this case that's why i i written this i did this problem here okay this is problem number property is same 0 to f of x dx is equal to 0 to f of a minus x dx same method is same so there's a no change in the method that is the reason i did it okay next one like this problem number 17 we'll do this problem number 17 okay problem number 17 also so 1 2 i did 3 4 homework i have given 15 i did and 4 5 6 problems are there made basing on this okay 15 is over let us move to the now problem number 17 now and whichever same problem method is there that i am doing first now okay okay my dear students i think you feel very easy doing this properties i told you know if you know the properties problems are easy problem number 17 now integral 0 to pi by 2 sorry 0 to a in place of pi by 2 a is given okay a into root x by root x by root x plus root of root of a minus x dx this is what is given root x by root of root x plus root of a minus x dx that is the problem number 17 now okay my dear students so story is same first of all we should say that that is i is equal to next property correct huh? so each and every problem i am writing means you should also write like that okay every problem whatever the property is there you should write you should not leave it so first of all let i is equal to integral 0 to a root x by root x plus root of a minus x dx that is the first question the second question the second point is what integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx this is the second point so this is the point second this is using this principle only no okay i means i only is equal to integral 0 to a so wherever x is there what you should write f of a minus x root is there root of wherever x is there a minus x by root x means root of a minus x plus root of a minus wherever x is there a minus x don't forget it wherever x is there there you have to write a minus x here x is there a i kept as it is minus also as it is in place of x a minus x i wrote now you simplify it how much you will get 0 to a root of a minus x by root of a minus x correct a minus x plus root what happens if you open the bracket minus a plus a cancel minus to minus plus then it will become root x dx now you see this is i and this is also i now i plus i 2i you add 2i integral 0 to a same limit what is the lcm denominator root of a minus x plus root x root x plus root of a x means same so right by you write root x plus root of a minus x as long as there is no minus in between we can write like anything so now numerator is what root x what is the here numerator root of a minus x 
Now what happened? Both are same. Both are same means what happened? Cancel. If we get cancel means here from what you can do? 2y is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 dx. Sorry, integral 0 to a. Because pi by 2 we did so many problems, you know. That's why we are very familiar with that. 0 to a dx. So, this implies integral dx, dx means what? x. Integral dx means x. 0 to a. So, 2i is equal to upper limit a minus 0. a minus 0 means a. So, a is equal to, i is equal to a by 2. If pi, a by, if in place of a is pi by 2 is there means pi by 2 by 2 pi by 4. In place of pi by 2 what is there a? Then it is a by 2. That's all. Method is same only, no? Method is same. Don't get confused. This is previous problem. But again, confusion will come now. Okay. So, this is also previous problem. So, therefore, now this problem is completed like this. You understood, I think so. Very easy. Nothing is there. Uh, nothing is there. See, only one problem. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 17. The, all these problems having the same method, we did it. We got it. Okay. Let us move to the <coughs> next way of problem. Next method of problems. Okay. Shall I rub it off? Yes. So, problem number, these are your next method. Here what we did in this method, first given problem we consider as i, then we applied the property 0 to a is equal to 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Using that property, we substituted in that i, then we got those two i's were added. So finally what is happening, they are getting cancelled. After integration, we are getting the values either pi by 4 or pi a by 2 according to the limits. Okay, now if limit is separate, is means we will get separate. Okay, now now we are going to the problem number 5 now, which is very important problems. VIMP in examination point of view, integral that is problem number 5, integral minus 5 to plus 5 interval mod of x plus 2 dx mod of x plus 2 dx again by second fundamental theorem beginning i told whether it is applicable or not in this issue you have to see because i told you in pu level already which is existed only they'll give but it is a linear function modless so no problem it is always domain is the real number whatever value substitute it is defined only so we don't have such problems now but only modless only modless if you go to the modulus concept, it is very high, means we already know mod x is equal to x if x greater than 0 or greater than or equal to 0, 0 if x is equal to 0 minus x if x less than 0, wherever modulus comes, this modulus concept should be there in our mind. In place of x, what is there here? x plus 2 is there. In place of x here, x plus 2 is there. So, therefore, we have to prepare like this here. Means, mod of x plus 2, if you write it. In place of x, you write x plus 2. So, what will happen now? Mod of x plus 2 will become positive. x plus 2. That if, comma, if x greater than minus 2. Okay, na? Greater than minus 2. Uh, 0 means greater than or equal to both you will write here. Next, minus of x plus 2, minus of x plus 2, if x less than minus 2, that is concept. Sir, okay, whatever you are given, I followed here, because this is modulus concept you said, wherever x is there, x plus 2 is there. So, here how to write, sir, greater than 2 means this you make 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, x must be greater than 2 means greater than or equal to them, they will become positive, less than means negative, like greater than, less than, that's all. Only x you take, only x means how much, greater than minus 2, only x means less than minus, like this. Now, sir, if it is given 2x plus 3, then confusion is there, sir, for us. Okay, that's why I told this is the concept, this is the concept, real concept, general concept. But I'll tell you one easy way to do this problems. Okay, ne need not to worry. Whenever problem is given, because of modulus, it will be divided into two limits. Property three. Okay, that's why now how will do means inside 
the modulus whatever is there you make zero that function make zero means here inside the modulus what is there x plus 2 you make x plus 2 is equal to zero whatever be there 2x is there means 2x plus 2 is equal to zero like that x plus 2 is equal to zero means x is equal to how much minus 2 this should be in there in your mind <coughs> okay the given function x at x is equal to minus 2 it will be zero therefore above zero one part below zero one part that is it is divided at minus 2 therefore the given problem can be written as minus 5 to minus 2 because here minus 2 is there suppose x minus 2 given means what is there x is equal to 2 you will write 2 x is equal to above 2 below 2 understood okay so therefore x plus 2 is equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 2 that's why first limit minus 5 to minus 2 mod of x plus 2 dx this is not going to change plus integral next above minus 2 above means minus 2 to maximum your limit is where 5 mod of x plus 2 dx now i think you are used actually using this only can do suppose if you are not able to follow this all these concepts simply what you have to do insert the mod make 0 whatever the x value you will get above x value that x value below that x value you split the limits so in between minus 5 to 5 x is equal to minus 2 yes, x, at x is equal to minus 2 it will become 0 that's why minus 5 to minus 2 minus 2 to 5 this function i wrote now if you open this negative will come positive will come that is there because we don't know that concept means okay now for that also i'll tell you in between minus 2 minus 5 you take one value you take one value in between minus 2 minus 5 what is there either minus 3 or minus 4 don't take fractions better to take integer so minus 3 you substitute here minus 3 plus 2 is how much you are going to get minus 1 okay na? don't go that minus mod is there means minus 1 like that okay minus 1 comes means it is uh, this concept or but so whenever value in between value if you substitute if you, if you substitute here if you get minus remove the mod and put minus before it whenever you, whenever you substitute the value here if you get positive remove mod you put plus before it that's all that's all you should know it so therefore integral minus 5 to minus 2 here i am minus 3 if i substitute means i am getting negative so minus of x plus 2 remove mod minus you put over already i told you know less than minus 2 means it is negative only this is less than 2 only you know if you don't know that I, I, I told you how to do means substitute the value if you get negative remove mod put minus over plus integral minus 2 to 5 in between minus 2 to 5 it is easy number to 0 x plus 2 0 plus 2 2 positive remove mod and you write positive x plus 2 dx over this is very important problem in exam okay now you got now integration you do it no problem x plus 2 take 1 separately you can do it but if you take nothing is there means power 1 so minus is here what is x power n x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 1 plus 1 2 by 2 what are the limits now here minus 5 to minus 2 remember this plus again the same story here also x plus 2 whole square by 2 here what are the limits limits will change minus 2 to 5 here minus 5 2 to minus 5 you minus 2 to 5 that's all now you have to simplify it simplify it directly simplify it here this is square don't in confusion don't put this 2 here <laughs> this upper limit is minus 2 upper limit is minus 2 like that you say to mind upper limit is minus 2 means wherever x is there is substitute minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 very happiest value 0 0 by anything is 0 0 is neither negative nor positive put 0 my dear students i think you understood minus 2 i substituted here wherever x is there that is called upper limit minus 2 plus 2 0 0 square 0 0 by anything is 0 0 before minus is there 0 is neither positive nor negative that's why 0 i wrote next what is the formula upper limit minus formula what is there you write minus lower limit put bracket don't get confused this minus also will come here minus 5 wherever x is there minus 5 substitute minus 5 plus 2 minus 3 minus 3 whole square 9 before minus is there minus 9 by 2 my dear student you should follow this okay next plus wherever 5 is there 5 plus 2 7 7 square 49 49 by 2 minus lower limit means minus 
minus 2 plus 2 0 happy so here 0 here 0 cancel so final how much you got minus into minus plus plus 49 by 2 so it is 49 plus 9 58 by 2 why because both are limit, uh, denominator same so 58 by 2 means what will go 2 2 is 4 29 so answer is 29 this problem answer is 29 okay very important my dear students once again i'll tell you remember this any problem comes means you can do like this first of all whenever you see modulus with limits inside the mod you make zero at what value it will become zero means that limits upper limit lower limits again change into this and this is what a to b a to c c to b how is split into the properties there no c value you want to find out that's why make zero so here c value is what minus 2 so a to c c to b over second step positive or negative it is positive here or negative here we don't know that's why in between these two limits you take one value minus they are substituted when you get minus open bracket modulus remove put minus when you get positive open modulus put positive and you know the integration and substitute different integrals how to do we did it finally we got 29 if you don't remember this is called theoretical if you don't remember also no problem you can do lightly like this okay my dear students you understood yes let us move to the next problem number six basing on this only okay so now <coughs> we are moving to the problem number six which is same as this because i took much time to explain this means because to understand you once you understand means you can do everything okay let us go to the problem number six important only so whichever <coughs> modulus is there always important so now here you see problem number uh, six integral 2 to 8 mod of x minus 5 dx this is the problem given mod of x minus 5 dx okay happy 2 to 8 i told now i don't want to see the definition now okay okay but inside mod you make 0 sir you told x minus 5 is equal to 0 x is equal to 5 sir what does it mean so above 5 below 5 okay so therefore integral 2 to 5 and the 5 below what is the function mod x minus 5 dx plus integral above 5 5 to what is given limit upper limit 8 mod x minus 5 dx over first we have find out the c this is nothing but c a to c c to b over now negative or positive what is it in between two values you take one thing limits 3 you take 3 minus 5 negative sir okay so 2 to 5 open the mod you write negative x minus 5 mod of x minus of x minus 5 dx plus in between 5 to 8 6 sir 6 minus 5 1 positive sir okay no problem remove mod you write positive here x minus 5 dx alternative that is not i'll explain one same concept now same here nothing is there power 1 here nothing is there power 1 your integration minus is here x minus 5 whole square by 2 what are the upper and lower limit 2 to 5 plus again the same concept x minus 5 whole square by 2 what is the difference limits will change 5 to 8 so here only generally we do mistakes be concentrate here 5 is there 5 minus 5 0 by anything is 0 happy minus formula upper limit minus put bracket happy now lower limit 2 2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 3 whole square that we should not bust only this multiply square is there after that only you should find out 2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 3 whole square 9 9 by 2 minus outside minus 9 by 2 previous also we got like that only so okay happy now plus upper limit 8 8 minus 5 3 3 square 9 again 9 by 2 minus lower limit what is the lower limit 5 5 minus 5 0 happy minus to minus plus 9 by 2 9 by 2 plus 9 by 2 how much 18 by 2 18 by 2 means how much 9 over this value is 9 how simple it is once you know the problem is easy okay 
now we'll move to the same type of five six again 18th problem definitely you people will say this one integral 0 to 4 mod of x minus 1 dx this is given already examination also 0 to 4 mod x minus 1 dx sir according to your statement so whatever inside the mod first of all we should make 0 yes now x minus 1 is equal to 0 sir x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1 so your limit is going to be above 1 below 1 yes so therefore it is 0 to 1 mod x minus 1 dx plus integral 1 to 4 mod x minus 1 dx means here c is 1 a to c c to b okay na? okay now positive negative in between 0 to 1 so there is no integer now you have to take fraction so 1 by 2 1 by 2 substitute here 1 by 2 minus 1 negative happy so therefore 0 to 1 mod of x minus 1 dx correct plus in between 1 to 4 take 2 2 minus 1 1 positive self happy 1 to 4 x minus 1 dx now minus of x minus 1 whole square by 2 0 to 1 plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 1 to 4 so this is that the two are there x minus 1 whole square by 2 1 to 4 0 to 1 now as usual your limits upper limit is 1 1 minus 1 0 happy 0 is neither negative nor positive minus bracket lower limit is 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 whole square 1 1 by 2 negative minus 1 by 2 happy plus what is upper limit 4 4 minus 1 3 3 square 9 9 by 2 minus lower limit 1 minus 1 0 so therefore minus to minus plus 1 by 2 plus 9 by 2 which is nothing but 10 by 2 that is equal to 5 here answer is 5 5 9 bbs is 29 something you got it okay now these are the three problems using this modulus method okay my dear students you have followed i think so okay very good next we'll go to the next step of problem in this okay so shall I rub it off? These are all important. Important I am not rubbing because that coming problem also important only. So this X is important only. <coughs> so you see this. All mechanical we are doing. Nothing is in this. Intelligence is not necessary here. Only your concentration is very important because any plus minus gone means you are not going to get problem. That's all. That's nothing else. So concentration if you lose means we lose the problem. And answer. Backside answer. Okay, anyhow, now let us move to the next problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 we did. 6 we did and 15, 17, 18 we have completed. Now let us move to the another type of <coughs> another type of problem. Problem number 7 now. Problem number 7, integral 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x hold to the power of n dx this is the given problem so 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x hold to the power of 1 dx n dx now here what i am going to say is integral if you say e is given here here integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to property integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx sir previously that first you said powers are like that means this property are to use add i plus a 2a will get something we understood sir here how do we know these money properties are there here this property only you have to use like that how do you know sir okay good question now here you see he has given 1 minus x whole power n if you if you expand can you expand this Yes, we can do it by binomial theorem. This much will come and so on like that. Correct or not? So, suppose this n comes here. Happy, x power n means single term. x power n into 1. x power n separate it. x power n into x. x power n plus 1. Correct or not? So, to change 1 power to here, here means this is the formula. 
zero to a f of x dx is equal to zero to a f of a minus dx property will do like that. Now see integral in place of a what is there one okay no problem wherever x is there what you should write a minus x a means what one you write one minus x here in place of x I wrote one minus x happy into here yeah, one one means one minus I will put bracket capital bracket so that it is easy one minus now I will put small bracket wherever x is there I should write a minus x here a means one one minus x one minus x over whole to the power of n dx because power is there you understood my dear student yes so integral 0 to 1 1 minus x into open the bracket now if you open the bracket inside what happened now 1 minus 1 minus to minus plus x whole to the power of n dx so what happened minus 1 plus 1 cancel so integral 0 to 1 1 minus x into x power n into ds correct or not what happens see here power 1 here come this n has come this said now it is easy to do the problem how will do it now separate it integral 0 to 1 1 into x power n x power n dx minus integral 0 to 1 x power 1 is there x power 1 into x power n it is nothing but x to the power of n plus 1 dx now you know the integrations very well so x power n integration is how much x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 limits are what 0 to 1 here minus x to the power of n plus 1 plus 1 x plus 2 by n plus 2 limits are 0 to 1 correct or not x power n plus 1 by here n means n plus 1 here n means n only okay now upper limit if you substitute 1 to the power of anything is 1 so this is nothing but 1 by n plus 1 minus because lower limit 0 to the power of anything 0 leave it off waste so minus I wrote here again upper limit 1 to the power of anything is there 1 by n plus 2 no lower limit 0 so 1 by n plus 1 n plus 2 means what is LCM n plus 1 into n plus 2 LCM so what you will take here n plus 2 will come here minus n minus 1 correct directly I wrote here when you take it minus n plus n cancel 2 minus 1 1 so 1 by n plus 1 into n plus 2 over this is the answer here what is the difference first problems and this problem first problem here after putting this property we added i plus i here nothing is there you simplified because it is transferred here and as transferred it is easy to do the power problem okay my dear student should observe this all we should observe how we are applying what type of problems we are applying so what is the property we are applying so far so far we are applied only one property 0 to f of x f of 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx in modulus that is very common how we did it we need not have any property directly a to that property is there what is that property a to b integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral a to c f of x dx plus integral c to b f of dx that property applied so how to find out c i told you when modulus is given that you did it correct or not yes this is problem number seven now like this any other problem is there we will see now problem number nine is there problem number nine same like this there so i will write here nine integral zero to two root uh, zero to two x into x into root of 2 minus x dx this is what is given integral 0 to 2 x into 2 minus x dx that's all so here also we'll do the same like this my dear students will do like this you see again integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to how patiently I am writing each and every prime problem, the property like that only you should write so that you remember these properties without any difficulty. Okay, 0 to a f of a minus x dx, yes sir, 0 to 2 x means what you will write in place of x, a means 2 minus x you will write uh, into root of 2 minus of wherever x is there, 2 minus x dx because a minus x, here a means 2. So 2 minus x, here a means 1, 1 minus x, that's all I did. So same method, nothing I did it extra, 0 to 2, 2 minus x into root of, what happened? When you opened it, 2 minus 2 plus x dx, so minus 2 plus 2 cancel.
ओके इंटीग्रल जीरो टू 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 माइनस एक्स इन टू रूट एक्स रूट एक्स मीन वॉट एक्स पॉर हाफ डी एक्स यू राइट लाइक दैट x power half. If you multiply, how much you are going to get? Two constant outside. Zero to two. X power half dx minus integral zero to two. X power one plus half. X power three by two dx. A power m plus a power n. A power m plus n. Correcta. Okay. Next. So two into here. This only two. X power half plus one. N plus one. Three by two by three by two. 3 by 2 when you simplify 2 by 3 x to the power of 3 by 2 we did it. this problem so you know it so 0 to 2 minus x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 5 by 2 5 by 2 means 2 by 5 denominators will come so x to the power of 5 by 2 0 to 2 okay na 0 to 2 now how much you are going to get 2 into 4 by 3 what is upper limit 2 to the power of 3 by 2 minus 0 leave it off minus 2 by 5, 2 to the power of 5 by 2 minus 0. Now, any simplification will do. Now we have to see now. Okay, I'll do now simplification. Okay, because that is over. Now, this I'm going to rub this. Problem number nine now. Okay, see now. Problem. What you got finally now? 4 by 3 into 2 to the power of 3 by 2. 2 to the power of 3 by 2 means what? I'll write here four by three into two to the power of three by two means square root of eight. Correct? Huh? I'll tell you those who don't know. I'll tell you three two power three by two two cube whole to the power of one by two two cube means eight eight power of one by two one by two means root root eight. Students should know everything. Okay. Anyhow, no problem. You can do any method just like I told you. Next, two power five by two minus two by five, two power five by two root thirty two, two power five thirty two root two is there one by two root now because if I write like if I write like this you can understand like very easily means I wrote like this four by three root eight means you know it two root two that is the reason I wrote. Root eight, four into two, root four, two, root is here, minus two by five, root thirty-two, sixteen into two, root sixteen, four. So four root two. That is the reason I wrote like this. Now, here what? Are, how much we are going to get common here? See, four twos us eight by eight, eight root two by three, minus here eight root two by five. Correct? Ah, eight root two, eight root two only. Okay. Now, so eight root two is common. So how much you are going to get? One by three minus one by five. So eight root two into LCM is fifteen. In fifteen, three goes five times. In fifteen, five goes three times. Five minus three, two. Two into eight, sixteen root two by fifteen. So here simplification part is given a little bit more. Okay. Understood, you know. So that's why this is an important problem. You have to remember, my dear students. That is the reason I told you simplification. Also, we have to observe. If you practice only those things, you will remember. Okay. Anyhow, problem number nine. That is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Uh, we did nine. We did next. We did fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. These are problems. I don't know because model wise I am teaching now. Okay. Anyhow, we'll go to the next problem. Okay. Next problem. Next method problems. Next method. What is there? We'll see now. <coughs> so these are all that thing, but practice. If you do practice, you will get everything. Okay. Now, <laughs> this here problem number. Um, Now I'll tell you problem number eleven, thirteen, fourteen. These three are there. One type of problems we'll do. Eleven, thirteen, fourteen. Problem number eleven. Integral minus pi by two two 
प्लस पाई बाय टू साइन स्क्वायर एक्स डीएक्स दिस इज एलेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम अगेन विदाउट यूजिंग प्रॉपर्टी दिस प्रॉब्लम यू कैन डू व्हाई बिकॉज़ साइन स्क्वायर एक्स कैन बी रिटन एस वन माइनस कॉस टू एक्स बाय टू सेपरेटेड अप्लाई लिमिट विल गेट इट यू यूज़ द प्रॉपर्टी इमीडिएटली f of x dx is equal to remember this 2 into 0 to a f of x dx if f of x is even function 0 if f of x is odd function correct huh? property number 7 minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 into 2 into 0 to f of x dx if f of x even function if f of x is odd function it will become 0 this you have to how you know sir how Immediately said that property here is minus pi by two. I said a minus a plus a. When you know the formulas, it automatically recorrect that. So therefore, immediately I thought like that. So first thing what I should see the sine square x is even even function or not? I have to check now. Okay. So now here f of x. What is f of x here? Sine square x. How to check even function or odd function? In place of x, you have to write minus x. Yes, sir. So f of minus x is equal to sine square of minus x. Correct. Which can be written as sine minus x whole square because no confusion trigonometry. So now you tell me sine minus theta is how much? Minus sine theta, sir. I am very good. I know that. Okay, very good. Nice whole square because of square this minus will become plus. So it will become finally sine square x. What is sine square x here? F of x. So f of minus x is equal to f of x means implies f of x is even is an even function. It is an even function. If it is an even, I will write two into zero t f of x dx. You can write. So according to this, this now I am going to write integral. Zero two into zero to a means here pi by two. Here a means what? Pi by two. Two into zero to a f of x dx sine square x dx. Correct? Huh? Sine square x dx. Now first problem how we did zero to pi by two cos square x dx. How much you got pi by four? So I am not doing like this. You please do it. Same again. I you say. Zero to a f of a minus x dx property. Add it. Otherwise, I'll write. Well, again tomorrow, you'll, half only you'll do. Zero to a here property f of x dx is equal to zero to a f of a minus x dx. This is the property. And again, we are using now two properties. We are using here. Okay. Two. First of all, let i is equal to integral. 0 to pi by 2 sin square x dx. You know it in the first time, mother. You afterwards finally will have two now. J is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x dx. Directly I am writing amma sin pi by 2 minus x sin 90 minus x cos x cos square x. So now this is i, this is i. 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x plus cos square x, which is nothing but 1. Because just now I had explained, you know that's why. And I don't want to take chance. Integral zero to pi by two, so it is nothing but one dx. Integral one dx x x means zero to pi by two. So finally, how much you'll get now? Here two i. This is all. This is about this only. So already before that, what is there? Two two into otherwise first right i i two i is equal to how much? Pi by two. This implies what is i pi by four. Okay. Now this is i two into i two i again. Finally, finally, so two into what is here value pi by four. Two into pi by four is how much? Pi by two. So this is the answer for this problem. So minus pi by two to plus pi by two sine square x dx is pi by two. See. So first of all, whenever I have seen minus pi by two plus pi by two, immediately I got it. It is minus u to a property. I did it. Then it is even function because of even function two into zero to f of x I did. 
after seeing this okay this is 0 to f of x dx 0 to f of x you can apply and you can add it so this is i i said this is after directly because we did already first problem i said 2i we got x pi by 4 2i is equal to pi by 4 means i is equal to pi by 2 pi by 4 i is equal to pi by 4 so here 2i means 2 into i means pi by 4 2 into pi by 4 is pi by 2 final answer is pi by 2 so this is given when f of x is even function in the same time here you see another problem is given that is a problem number this is problem number 11 now we'll see which problem is there problem number 7 13 this is 11 now 13 problem number 13 now integral minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 sine power 7 x dx you see my dear students same again we have to do minus pi by 2 sine square x here 7 x 2 is given 7 is given that's all again minus a2 means same property you know i wrote already the property please excuse me i cannot write once again because already i am showing there plus in your exam you should write now what is f of x is here f of x is sin power 7x so now i have to check whether it is even function or odd function so what i do now wherever x is there minus x then how much you are going to get sin power minus x which is nothing but sin minus x whole power 7 correct okay sin minus theta is how much minus sin theta whole power 7 when power is odd minus will come when power is even minus will go so this is minus sin power 7 x which means minus f of x which means so f of minus x is equal to minus f of x means what 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 does it mean this implies this implies f of x is an odd function is an odd function is an odd when it is odd what is the value second zero this implies integral minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 sin power 7x dx is equal to 0 over so now in entrance what we'll do because we are very familiar sin power by seeing only it is odd function 0 one second one second because once you know this all then only you can take one second so that's why p is very very important if you know the p u and that will make make easy so one problem given even function one problem is odd function so both the formulas he checked it okay now my dear students you understood you know now we'll stop here and next class remaining some four or five problems are there one more example also i'll tell you then we'll go to the next class okay before that you please practice once again i'll tell you several times this only without practice nothing will be achieved okay thank you